Hey guys, I'm back. I got a little thing from, from O-Knife. I got a little tiny, it's a little guy. Um, this came to me, so apparently, I don't know if there's a difference between O-Knife and Obuy.com. I got, I got, I got emails coming up, you know, regarding Black Friday type things from Obuy.com and my usual Olight person. I haven't heard from Olight in a while, but this came from the person from Obuy.com. Obuy.com, look at this pretty package came in a pretty package. There's some other stuff in there, but we're gonna do that in another video because I really, I wanna put this to work at work today. So this is the O-Tackle or Oticle. People pronounce it both ways, I don't know. Two, I happen to have the O-Tackle one. I carry it every day at work and I use it. It is kind of a pain to find these very specific blades, but in terms of a, a utility blade carrier, I love it. I, I really do use it every day at work. But here's the O-Tackle 2 Mini. It's a multifunctional pry bar. It is made of titanium. It does weigh 0.63 ounces. The picture is for reference only. Here's some dimensional stuff info for you. If you're into that kind of thing, I don't judge you. Be into whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you it's weird. Okay, let's take a look. And the reason I want to do this now, like I said, I you know there are things I could use this for here at work. So I want to, I want to get to use this so I can kind of see what it does and how it does it and all that other good stuff. Oh, it's got some design. Ho ho, ho ho. That's pretty. Listen, pretty is important, you know? We have this saying, well we did have this saying back when I was one of those military dudes that sometimes occasionally wore a flight suit for certain things, but we, you know, if it looks right, it flies right. Definitely looks right. I like that. Nice anno. I don't know. I don't know how they, I wish I knew more about anodizing. Uh, so definitely lightweight. Has a nice little uh, clip. Not quite deep carry, but how are you going to deep carry this thing? Is that, okay. Is that, is there like a little sheet? I, it is a four millimeter hex wrench. What you're gonna do with a four millimeter hex wrench, I don't know, unless you there's like little four millimeter bits you can put in there. It's an odd size to me to just throw in there. I think there's probably small bits. That's for like the little tiny bits, I guess, maybe. Bottle opener, because if you don't have a bottle opener on your tools, whatevs, okay. But pry bar. And that's the part that I wanna use at work um, because there are many times where I we have these wrench things. They, they're they made for opening paint cans and stuff, but we use them for various things. And um, I use, I have to, have to pry open or, or apart different, different parts of different things all the time. So that's why I wanna use this. And what is this, is this a lanyard? Packaging on this stuff is tight. Ha, I'll use my pry bar. What do we got here? Green 550? So yeah, you can make a lanyard. I bet it fits right through there, doesn't it? Can make yourself a lanyard if you so choose. I might choose, I don't know. It's got, sorry guys, it's got a nice, it's got a nice finish to it. It's it's almost like a, like a color shifting kind of finish just to the regular titanium. Wow, that's nice. The unfortunate thing is, as soon as you start using this, it's gonna get scratched up. Now some people like that as a mark of they use their tools. Some people really like that. Some people are like, no, I want my tool to look pretty forever. If it's a collection queen, I understand that. But like as a working tool, I like those scrapes and scratches and stuff because it shows you actually use your stuff. But the finish on it is really beautiful. I know the camera's not capturing it. It does have a little, whatever, it, however it's anodized. I hope the camera's showing it. It has a little slight blue to green color shift on it, but it is really lightweight. And you know, I, I, oh great, now it's in there and I can't get it out. It is, it is a, you know, I mean, I trust them. Honestly, I trust them. If they say it's titanium, it's really titanium, not aluminum. There are ways to test that out and we could do that. It's certainly too light to be steel. I mean, for real. Um, so I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't doubt that at all. Um, but I don't know if the clip is titanium as well, but it's a nice looking little piece. So I'm gonna have to look up how much this thing costs but 
Yeah, I like that it's not giant billboarded. I mean, it does have its little branding, but it's small and on the reverse side. So I'm gonna put it to work in the shop. I'm gonna see how well it works. There will, there will be a follow-up on this as I use it throughout the next week or so. And we'll see how it holds up compared to some other things. But the thing that I like about it is it is small enough that like this thing is dangly and bangly enough as it is with all, I mean, there's a few keys, but there's some, some tools that I use all the time. And this thing is small enough that it can join the tool gang and I can carry it around throughout my, my stuff of the shop. And uh, it's not gonna be like, it's not gonna add a lot of weight and it's not gonna add a big tool to it that's gonna like, you know, be crazy. I mean, this thing's crazy enough, but I love the size of it. That's the thing, I love the size, so. We'll see this more. This is just first impressions. What do you guys think? Honest opinions. And um, thank you to Onife and Obuy.com. You guys are cool. All right, ladies, gents, loms. Here's part two of this of this video from Obuy. Um, so we saw the cool pry bar, which unfortunately I did leave at work, but. Oh, it's because I use it. I use it a lot. So the other thing they sent me that they wanted me to convey to you, to show you, is the do 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 Block E 2.0 by Tactical Geek Pocket or Organizer. Now, it says color GY, which I'm assuming stands for gray, but this is a lovely OD green color, which is my favorite gear color. It's very interesting that it has a um, so so it has the the laser cut Molly kind of attachment, but this is so I'm not sure what this is. If it's nylon, I don't know what kind of nylon is that. That's a uh, but it's a very reinforced, almost feels like a rubber coated kind of thing. So uh, so uh, obviously where I've already started on the external of the pouch here. The, now the pouch itself is a a nice. It's a heavy weight but soft, you know. It feels like a 5000D nylon there. Um, but on the external of the pouch, um, we've got your PALS slash Molly. Because PALS is the, is the attachment system. Molly is a gear system. But we don't have to rehash that whole thing. You got some on the front, some on the back. You've got a nice patch panel. You can put Morale patches, uh, you know, name tag patches, blood type panels, whatever goes on there. D-ring for clipping it on. And a zipper pull instead of just a little zipper. Zipper, I, I think, is nylon type, but I don't know. But it's jacketed, which is nice. It's, you know, it's in there. It's protected. Very easy. Let's see. Yep, nylon zipper. Um, in terms of, you know, an EDC organizer or a cargo pocket organizer or anything, nothing mind-blowing. Um, so we got kind of a, a plastic insert there on both ends to keep it a little bit rigid. Opens flat to 180 degrees, which is great, so you can get access to everything. Um, here's the new own knife for size reference. Um, here is a Sharpie. Carry one in the shop every day for size reference. You know what? That's pretty nice that you can carry it open like that in your pocket if you wanted to. Anyway, so you got one main big pocket on this side and three smaller mesh pockets with elastic up front and then on the other side. So just a whole mess of different elastic pockets. So one big pocket and then two main elastic pockets and then on top of those two smaller elastic pockets. Uh, I said pockets, elastic bands, elastic uh, holding areas for putting stuff. This is brand new, so it's a little little flat and tight, but you know. So this is the kind of thing that, in uniform, in the field, I would actually I would I would use this. Um, I would definitely carry something like this because even even on just the side of a backpack or whatever, if you have little items that you're constantly getting at, if you attach this to your pack and then you could get at them easily this would be cool but um, these things are usually sized to perfectly fit inside i am still prone to say a bdu cargo pocket but of course we could say acu abu ocp 
um, or whatever the hell the Marines and Navy call their crap. Um, but, you know, even if you have just cargo shorts, cargo pants that you wear, um, designed to fit nicely in there. So very well constructed, though. Stitching looks really good. Um, I'm not sure about the weatherproofing, but definitely have that rigid reinforcement there. And I have a few different uh, little EDC kind of pouches, pocket organizers that I have used on and off. And uh, they did get it in my favorite color, which is very nice. So, boom. So just a couple of the items that Obi has going on with their, their Black Friday sale, which if I get this video done right, you'll see right when their thing opens up on November 20th, 8 p.m. And of course, I'll have all the other details in the video description. I'll give you a direct link. Um, affiliate type link um, that way they can track how many of you guys are actually watching the videos I make um, to the to the pry bar to the pouch and then just a general go to the Obi store and see everything link um, but if you are gonna buy stuff and you want to you know use one of those links it, it helps them know that you guys actually watch the videos of the stuff that they send me so that's cool um, you can just click the link and not buy anything at all if you want I don't know um, but um, so Obi is apparently the one of the online retailers associated with Olight. Yeah. However, it's having a separate Black Friday sale from the main Olight. I don't know. I don't get it. But you'll see another video coming in soon. So they're decent products that you know that they've shown me anyway. Um, and I will do another follow up on the pry bar to show you how it's held up over the last little bit. So far, it's been great. Um, I mean, a nice purple lanyard for it, and I really wanted to show it off, and I don't have it here. Anyway, um, you guys, go so check out that stuff, or don't. It's entirely up to you. I think they've got some cool stuff on sale, though, for the upcoming holiday season. Um, and like I said, all the sale info, everything they sent me is in the video description. So, go check that out. And thanks to Obi for sending me the things for us to look at. And for sending me things I'm prone to actually use myself. And, you know, that way that way I can come back to you guys and say, like, yeah, that looks cool or, or that didn't hold up or whatever. So, all right. Remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.